What is up, guys? We're Doubles back again with a brand new video, and I want to real quick in this intro ask you guys a question. You can let me know in the comment section below, and then I'll also just do the intro like normal. So today in this video, we are going to be doing more of my Dark Ranger, and that leads me to the question, do you guys like the idea of me doing not just a single video on a build, but maybe one, two, or three, maybe trying to pump them out a little bit faster, a little bit more casual in that regard, but instead of seeing just one video on Grove Ranger, you'll see, oh, day two, maybe day three, and if it gets buffed the next day, I get to actually play it on the buff, right? And we'll keep progressing. Let me know. In that regard, I'm doing the third video on Dark Ranger today, and I'm going to show you guys all the progress we've made so far before we end up going into a new build. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump right in. Okay, guys, just some quick Discord stuff I want to throw in at the beginning of this video, just so you guys know. Uh, I've been changing up the Discord. As you guys know, when it comes to all the community stuff, YouTube community stuff, stuff that uh, I do with my channel, I'm making it up, man. I'm using my brain, hopefully what intelligence I might actually have, and hoping I make good decisions. So I've been uh, reforming the Discord a bit, you know, adding cute little emojis here and there, you know what I mean? Just trying to make it sick. I added a members-only forum, so this is kind of cool. Anybody can look at it and react. If you guys don't end up liking this, I can just remove it, you know what I mean? But I thought to myself, sometimes people want to share their videos and stuff like that so this would be a place to do that because otherwise there's nowhere for you to post your videos and stuff on my discord because it's kind of rude in every other channel but here you do whatever the hell you want and everybody can see it and stuff but perhaps more importantly for all of you guys right i went down here and i added a add-ons discussion forum and the main idea for that is so we still have the add-ons chat is what i'm calling it now you guys could talk and get help on add-ons right don't mind don't care i left it there i almost got rid of it but you can also do forum posts on it now asking for help post your own add-ons post your own UIs if you want to and people can be like hey I want that and you have maybe an LVI code or something like that but perhaps more importantly I've got this general add-on post for you guys where I consolidated everything from every WoW game I play so that you guys have all of my uh, let's say LVI strings I even have my uh, PFUI string right here I gotta change that it's not supposed to say LVI it's supposed to say PFUI uh, which is what I use for Turtle Wow, because I know that's actually still a big server. There was 1,500 people online at 8 p.m. U.S. time for me yesterday, Central U.S. time. So that was pretty sick. Uh, I've got all the Dragonflight add-ons I use listed here. You just get them off Curse Forge and how everything works in this regard as well. And my old uh, Week Are a Progress texture video from like literally 2020, dude. So freaking old. It's there though. And if I get more ideas and more stuff, if you guys have things you want me to put on here, I can add that as well. And it's always going to be here for you guys. So I think that's really good. So make sure to check that out. Okay, guys. So we ended my last video with the acquisition of my first T2 full set with the Shaman T2 specifically and it was really really good for me specifically on the Dark Ranger but also for every hybrid character I might make in the near future we probably will so I thought let's put this to the test let's see where we stand we're still playing with the non Black Arrow version of the Dark Ranger spec that means we are going to be using Devouring Plague instead so I jumped into this with the goal of getting a heroic Theckles Grasp and also for getting commendations now you can get commendations which are essentially a currency that you get in game you can spend it and then you can get raid gear just normal raid gear as long as you've completed the raid before in exchange for commendations as far as i can tell getting as many of these as humanly possible is always a good thing especially for filling out different bits of gear that you did not get lucky with and so for me in the last video we were able to get two tier pieces with it and a brand new ring so i thought to myself i like this a lot maybe i could work my way up to a mythic set and i'll see what my dps is in the meantime right so we go into this heroic and guys I actually have some pretty amazing results. In fact, at no point during this raid did I feel like I wasn't pulling my weight. Consistently top five on bosses, felt really good. Consistently top three even, and uh, sometimes top one and top two. And it was really, really fun. And I was showing myself anywhere between six to 8,000 DPS. I was showing myself that this brand new tier set is very, very strong. And I was testing the tier set, even though I was showing that to myself, I wanted to really find out what made it good. You know, it's massive crit, both for abilities and for spells. It's very, very interesting. You know, we are a hybrid, but we're all in on the AP. But with the new hybridization changes, you don't necessarily need SP for your spells to do damage and vice versa. So very, very interesting. And so with the success that I got from ZG and all the tests, thing I got from using that T2 set for the very first time, I jumped into an Onyxia with basically the same mindset. What is my DPS going to look like? How will I compare it to when I did Onyxia before I had the 8 piece? And where am I at the very end of the run? Just how good was this T2 set and how much has it improved for me? Admittedly, the Onyxia fight didn't really wow me, except when I went down and actually looked at these guys' DPS. Now, it looks like I came in 6th place with some prominent names on there like Light that we talked about in my last video, but actually, if you look at the 
the Onyxia fight DPS, things will actually suddenly change because you realize a lot of the dudes above me had the privilege of getting the Dragon Killer Spear. They threw it and it boosted their damage artificially on the DPS meters. Unfortunately, the DPS charts don't kind of account for that. So when I added all that up, because you can literally take that damage out of the equation and you can realize they'd be dropping dramatically, only two people were above me. So I came top three. It was just light that was above me and actually a one with the light pally build as well. That was it. So interestingly enough, two builds that are not often seen as meta yet. Uh, maybe the pally's always been there, but still light's build is righteous flames for God's sakes. They were above me, but I was still top three and that was really good because there was a lot of good builds in here, including other dark rangers, including dragon warriors and stuff like that. So in my book, it was a pretty good showing. Now I decided to look at PVP for the very first time. So I have some very good news for you guys. I did get a message from the PVP dev. He said, go check out the prices on the shop. If I'm honest with you guys, I'll take the fault for this. I was pessimistic and I thought, okay, dude, I'll go check out the prices on the shop. It's going to be like 30,000, 20,000 honor still for blue gear. It's not going to matter. You're going to want people to, you know, lose 50 times in, uh, you know, a rated arena, ruining their character before they can get the right gear to compete. So it's just nasty, but that's not what it was, bro. I went over to the PVP vendor and this guy has reduced literally exactly as I said, all of the gear to where you can farm it all out extremely fast. We're talking 5,000 honor for a piece of gear for the best stuff for the epic stuff that is super exciting so i went on a hunt to get that gear i went ahead and i already had some honor so i could buy some but then i had to do some daily quests to make it happen i want to show you guys a couple pvp matches i did real quick uh with the dark ranger build obviously half of these no trinkets in them and we're not full pvp geared but the damage and potential is there you can imagine if we actually had pvp abilities and not you know a mosh pause if this is a pve build right it would be so crazy i think as far as i can remember looking back at these clips the only guy i ended up losing to is somebody I also could beat some of the times, uh, although I will admit towards the end, I was like, screw it, because it looks like this guy could just two-shot you with Starfire and other instant cats. I'm talking two globals, right? And when he realized that he could global me like that, he just kept doing it every match and there was nothing I could do. Once again, I'm working with like garbage right now, but you know, outside of that, there were some matches I took from him. So from my point of view, I'm getting globaled and perma CC'd while I'm globaled and there's nothing I can do once people realize that that's what they can do to me. So I need real PvP abilities to do something about that. That's going to be something to think about if we want to, but we did farm a full set of PvP gear, boys, and that really does set us up for success. So I want to show you one match, and then after that, I'll show you what happened with the AQ gates opening and also some M plus we did, and we'll get into the live commentary. And okay, we'll get to more of that maybe. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below for PvP and PvP progression. But what we ended up doing is, hey, guess what? It looks like, as of you guys watching this yesterday, the Scarab event so that you can get the Scarab Lord title has come out. Bang the gong, my friends, although it's a bit late for that now. But you could have, and you could have got some free stuff as a result of it. A mount, a title, whatever. Anyway, what we did is we went for the normal stuff. Now, first of all, Dark Ranger was actually bugged during this for a decent amount of time before it was fixed, maybe an hour or so, where actually actually dark artillery or whatever it's called, it literally had an unlimited amount of uses. So as long as you got the first three stacks that you need to use at one time, you could just keep spamming it over and over and over and over and over again. And it gave no mana back. So you would think it would be good, but you quickly ran Oom um, and then you were done, right? So I just tagged along to the best ability that I could after I was done watching this massive lag fest as people banged the gong and so many people got the Scarab Lord title. Like literally everybody planned for it except for me apparently. And they all got it and they're all happy happy with it and that's good for them you know regardless i started farming and i did get lucky because these guys have a chance to drop an aq mount yes my friends i won the very first karaji resonating crystal that dropped i now have this mount for aq that is just so lucky and so great so yeah we are currently doing the aq opening event we're killing these guys they drop epic loot they drop the karaji crystals but yeah we're just gonna keep doing this and uh, you know what in my mind we've already succeeded because we got the mount i'll definitely take that 
that. Jesus Christ, that is so lucky. It also meant that after the first couple kills, I didn't have to stick around because I don't really need the gear that these guys drop, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong on that and I'm missing something, but I did want the mount. So we're already done with that grind and you can still log on and try to do that and get that and get the mount from it or maybe the loot if you uh, still need to fill in some pieces, right? So it's a pretty nice little fun thing to do. Now, lastly, guys, before we get into some live commentary and I tell you what we're going to be doing with this character in this video today, I did a quick plus 12. The main goal, of course, once again, testing that eight piece, testing the build, seeing how it does in a dungeon setting now. This is a mid-tier key. It's not bad. You know, I saw some 17s and stuff, but I said, let's start slow. The entire dungeon, I was in first place DPS up until the end when I realized that we were not going to do anything special except for a one chest on this. And of course, it's hard to keep being your best at that point. I did try though. You can see I have some first place DPS clips right here I can show you. Always doing good on the trash, right? The dark artillery really, really slaps. But really, when it comes to bosses, that's where you're really going to shine. I literally have this clip titled shit plus 12. We get to the end of it. We don't get anything good from it, but it was a decent test. We did good DPS the entire time and it led me to wanting to go back for that black arrow build, which I did, by the way. I did a whole playthrough and I simply didn't get anything I needed. So we're going to do it again. And I think that's where we're going to start this video. All right, guys. So I prestiged one more time and uh, hopefully it's my last time. The goal is black arrow, same skill cards as we had at the end of the last video, right? And the uh, same ability start as well. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this prestige. I'm actually going to use carry on swarm. This is really interesting. It's an epic enchant that just teaches you the ability. I can show it to you guys right here. So boom, that's actually a really cool little animation. It's just extra damage. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing lesser arcane explosion and uh, yeah, should be an easy one to 60. All right. So overall, uh, the carry on swarm has been fine and we just won troll sweat. Yo, that's what I was hoping for. That's why I clicked the record. Uh, there we go. Troll sweat has been accomplished, my friend. But yeah, anyway, carry on swarm. You can see it's hitting like 400s on everybody. It's okay. There's uh, an emerald visage one that these guys are using where they summon a giant green dragon. That seems to be the most popular one, uh, but it looks like a good thing to be doing right now and probably for the last few months, obviously, is you just use, I think I've mentioned this before, all of these free abilities that you get from Epic Enchants, all the new World Forge ones like Carry On Swarm, like Emerald Visage, maybe Venom Belt, I don't know, stuff like that. But we're almost done and we're level 60 already, so we're just finishing for some of these other guys and yeah, we'll be able to see if we get the Black Arrow. So far, I haven't, but we will be able to reroll it max. Later that same evening. Okay, so the current conspiracy is that they messed something up in an update and like reverted all of their changes. So many prestiges now and I just can't get a build. I either don't get the Black Arrow or I don't get some of the other stuff that is required to play it right. I'm actually, look at this, it's literally just Black Arrow, but I also didn't get Shadow Bolt out of all things. I just got done spending all of my gold that I made up once again on profession dailies. It didn't matter. That's the part that I think is kind of lame. You know, one of the biggest problems with the prestige system is that in order to get more marks to do more prestiges, you have to have a build that's actually playable. But that's counterintuitive because you're doing the mark quest so that you can get a build that's playable. It's like, what? I don't know. Like, do I actually waste my time again on another prestige or do I just play what I got? Like, I don't know, man. I really want to do Black Arrow, dude. It's like impossible. Two hours later. Okay, guys. So I figured out a version of the Black Arrow spec that does actually work. It's very interesting. I had to take away um, a lot of different synergies. Number one, you can see this is the original build. I got rid of Stab in the Dark. So that's a little bit of Shadow Bolt damage. Actually, it's possibly a decent amount of it. Uh, I, I had no choice because I had to get three resourcefulness, which is giving me six seconds off the cooldown of Black Arrow and also some mana reduction on Black Arrow as well. So I combined that by taking away some talents that would have otherwise been for for me, uh, down here, I think I had it in Exposed Weakness. Some of your builds might have it over here in Dream State. And I think he recently, Critical Miss, updated his with two points in Malediction. So I took two from that, and then I got one out of Shadow Embrace, because I had no choice. It really feels bad, don't get me wrong. And I went three points into Resourcefulness, and this is what lets me go to a 14 second Black Arrow cooldown, which is as good as I can do. What am I giving up for that? So we're giving up 3% Periodic Shadow Damage, but we're gaining 8%, and we're also giving up a little bit of so in my head, I thought, okay, you take away a little bit of AP scaling on Shadow Bolt, 3% periodic shadow damage, and uh, also a few percentage points of maybe crit. And basically what I came up with was the exact same thing as the other spec, just slightly different. I'm not even joking. I went on the dummy and I did 5k DPS, bro. I swear to God, like I have no idea. I guess when I really put it into words though, the way I just did it for you guys, it makes sense. With all the talents and all the REs you have to add to make Black Arrow work, you just end up with the exact same uh, modifier 
modifiers to all of your abilities, and that's it. And honestly, when I honestly think about it, guys, it comes down to the fact that devouring means I'm never going to have to use a GCD to reapply it. Typically, it doesn't matter, though, to be real. You do actually have times, especially if you have a slight misplay, where maybe you have nothing you can press for literally a second. Black arrow fits perfect. You can also black arrow right after another shot, and that makes it super smooth as well. So really, it's a moot point, right, talking about the GCDs between devouring plague and black arrow. It's the same spec, bro. It's the same spec. So we're going to play it. Um, Let's do some AQ farming, guys. Just do it a little bit more, see what loot drops. I do want to get this video out to you guys and show you guys that we did get black arrow, show you guys the DPS the same so there you go you prefer the black arrow theme you're fine just you know copy this spec out of my discord i guess and i uh, wanted to show you guys all the stuff we have done so far the aq stuff i am going to finish doing all of the brand new legendary enchants though and so that means steward of eternity and cryotherapist i think are the only two left there might be one other uh, and then we're going to go back to some crazy dps specs my members are currently voting on what dps spec they want to see first so consider becoming a member if you want to participate and stuff like that anyway Let's get to uh, some AQ farming. Okay, so I'm on my way right now. I actually just released another video today, and uh, it's called The Mainstream is Taking Notice, and it starts with Nixium, because Nixium made a video on private servers. He's a mainstream guy. They don't talk about this stuff often. They don't want to step on Blizzard's toes. I found it fascinating. I wanted to give my take on it. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. So basically, you can see the rotation is the exact same as we had it before, but I toss in the black arrow as well. So again, it, like it's literally no different. Basically, at all i wouldn't say it's any more hard or or easier to play uh even though you do have to click the black arrow every 14 15 seconds ish right so so a lot of mystic orb shards right now and i'll uh, i think everybody's needing on those i'm gonna need on the black lotus that's dropping as well pass on the uh, you know profession stuff okay green karaji resonating crystal that's a green scarab i'll need on that oh oh i did not win looks like they already rolled for it what did i roll 78 dude i almost had it man i was not that far off now i didn't even tell you guys but one of the ways i guaranteed this black arrow even though it was close uh, was I used this strategy. I said, I'm not going to start with Hunter's Mark. Instead, I started with the auto shot in its place with the Shadow Bolt, not picking between the two. My reasoning behind that was that because Hunter's Mark is a rare, I knew I was lowering my chances of getting the Black Arrow later on. There's a lot of rares you need. So even if I got a Black Arrow, I had one run where I didn't get Poisons or Rock Biter. I have both on this build, right? This is literally a perfect build for the Black Arrow setup right now. And uh, it's a very big deal. I do think if I hadn't played around it like that with that Hunter's mark choice that i would not have got this build so i can say we effectively played well and that's why we have something fun to play right now we're also doing like 9k dps of course it's cleaving and we're just you know destroying some massive world boss type but yeah not having the hunter's mark is something to keep in mind my thought process on top of everything i already told you guys was that somebody else might have hunter's mark i'm pretty sure we do benefit from it right and therefore it's kind of like battle shout or something in that regard less good for pvp because i want that extra damage that only i can put on myself but for pve it's like you know somebody will probably have hunter's mark right but even if they don't that's interesting as well because remember my other guy is 5k dps with the hunter's mark this guy is 5k without so i do think that eight percent increased shadow damage plus the black arrow damage is probably slightly why did i just cast that slightly more than uh what we're doing with devouring i think it might just be slightly but uh you know it's very hard to get there right now okay so after like 30 minutes maybe i just like left i already got my aq mount so i don't really care that much but i did get a couple things i'm pretty sure they're not worth anything Thing except maybe the guardian stone which i do want to look up because i still have no clue what that is okay so what is it worth <laughs> one gold nothing oh no man everybody's just doing aq farms right now which is exactly what we were just doing it's like kind of hard actually to find something else do i do this guy's mc normal yeah screw it dude why not all right guys i think it might be our time to shine let's just show how this uh black arrow version of the spec does on some of these bosses and mc all right boss time bro black arrow into the bloodshot let's go for the wraith i'm just gonna test that like i haven't looked up how other people do the start the rotation i keep experimenting myself i like to go for the uh, black arrow and the wraith first because all my damage over time everything's being buffed right i should have actually shadow bolted there we can go for a black arrow and go for a bloodshot and go for another uh one of those artilleries into the wraith renew i keep accidentally like casting that stupid shadow bolt that's so low tier yo i think we might even have one of the devs in here it's like the pvp devs in here right now on an alt i think unless this guy just has the same name man yo why am i doing so little dps compared to what i was doing before like i know i came top four but what the hell like why are you guys 
doing 9k in normal, dude. You're making me look bad. It's like everybody in here is the same as me and they came in here with the same mindset. And like, this is actually the best option when you're doing something like this. Typically, it's a crap option. You want the gear, right? I want the raider commendations. All right, let's see. Can we actually do number one? I'd like to be number one. The problem? Well, there's some cleave on this one, boys. And those dragon warriors, you can already see them. They're having a field day with it. I really can't wait to see what happens on like Rag, but even then, Rag has cleave. Maybe, no, not Gar. Baron Geddon, maybe? There's no cleave on Baron Geddon, right? Pretty much patchwork. Okay, casting shadow artilleries. He's about to die. Bloodshot into the nightfall. Uh, Black Arrow would have gone up, but Wraith? Okay, I'm number three on that one. I feel good about that. All right, passing on this so that people that actually need it can get it. And commendations. There we go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. In an alternate universe, I'm in like Ascended MC right now, and every one of these caches is like making me pull my hair out. But in this universe, I'm playing life on easy mode, so everything's okay, you know? So can we make the disengage? Hwa! Yes, we can, bro. Damn it, man. I was really hoping I'd be the one in first place on that fight. I came in second place. Basically the same DPS down by 4k. This guy's playing the same thing as me too. He shadow artilleried more than me. He also used a couple explosive shots. Interesting. Looks like he casted it four times. Like I said, there are times where you have like a second of downtime. And I guess since explosive shot doesn't cost a talent point anymore... Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's one of those things where if I had just remembered that talent point thing, dude, if I had just understood it, if I had just, you know, not got tricked by the weird gem thing in the UI that made me think talent points were still showing, I'd have explosive shot right now because it's definitely been offered to me. I won't even lie to you guys. I just said no. Because to me, I was like, yeah, I don't want to spend the talent point. But now you guys know, maybe you want explosive shot. Why not? Toss it in. I guess the problem is that I like it when you can really get a build down to like maybe five abilities at most. You know, this one is six, so it's like a little bit more. But one of them you don't touch that often whether you play devouring or black arrow right so it's basically five and to me that's the sweet spot like you never want to go higher than a five button rotation yeah there could still be cooldowns you pop and stuff like that, that doesn't have to count but like five genuine buttons that you actually have to care about constantly apparently we just killed baron geddon by the way like i feel like i don't even know what happened right there like we are approaching the end of this expansion just about right like we're gonna go into aq soon right after aq is literally next right like we're done uh there are no special raids no vanilla plus raids or anything like that it's just like straight there and then Nax is a freaking cakewalk if it's anything from what I remember back on the Malganis era. So, all right, let's go. We have Arcane Power into the Black Arrow. Bloodshot this time. Ray. See, I'm just mixing it up, bro. Into the Shadow Arrow, into the first Shadow Bolt, into the Bloodshot. Nothing to do. And this is where an explosive shot could go off. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about. So we have a Bloodshot right there into the Wraith. And this is where we can go for the Shadow Arrow, into the Black Arrow. It doubles down. It goes together into another Bloodshot. Getting those stacks, right? Boom, I can go for a stack shot. Uh, this is where maybe an explosive shot would fit in. So I'm really seeing it now. Like you can literally witness like the moments where having explosive shot would just be better. It would also be good for all these cleave fights too. Because my cleave is like okay, but you have to build it up first, you know? And no matter what, it's just not as good as like D-War or something like that. I've talked about this before, but Dark Ranger is like, what the hell are you guys doing? It's extremely, oh my god, are we gonna wipe? Well-rounded. This is not typically what you do, by the way. Typically, you pull one all the way over there, you kill it, and then, like, the rest of them don't ever get this big. So this is a little terrifying, but it looks like it's fine. It's normal, so that's why we did it. Didn't matter. All right, back on the boss, back on the real boss, Ragnaros. Let's get a shadow arrow up on his ass. Go for that shadow bolt into the black arrow right here. 8% more shadow damage. Don't mind if I do. Let's go for a couple procs of the artillery. Let's go for a shadow bolt. And like, maybe I should have blood arrowed there and maybe I should have wraithed earlier. Like, that's what I'm kind of thinking about right now. But it can get kind of tough. You have so many procs that come up and they all have very similar weights just about. Like, I need to black arrow first. I need to make sure wraith is up. But at the same time, bloodshot needs to be clicked at all times. Shadow bolt's still pretty good. The only one that really has like no decision making is like, do I shadow arrow? It's like, well, you know when that's going to happen. I actually have like a bunch of AOE procs here. So boom. And then one more. Another one. Okay, there we go. So that was all three of them. It didn't matter, but pad those DPS meters a bit so I look better at the end of the fight. And don't look at me weird. You know everybody's doing it. You literally know everybody's doing it. You know that if there's like a bunch of cleave, you go and you drag and roar that real quick so you look better on the DPS charts. Disengage back because I'm a freaking Chad and you know I'm quick, bro. I mastered that crap when I was a kid. I like to master random things. Like when I played League of Legends, like I was one of those people that saw Insect doing ward kicks and I mastered that stuff at like the age of 16. All right, Rag, are you going to die a horrible death? I'm going to go for the artillery on you right now let's not go for the black arrow into the bloodshot towards the end okay i came top three at the end beat by two d wars i'll take it Ooh, spinal reaper dropped and i do think somebody needed it and i'm just gonna pass on everything grats to everybody that actually got some loot i do want firefall i'm gonna need on that hopefully i win that enchant i do want to collect all the enchants now as we wait we can open up all of our raider caches and hopefully it's all commendations and uh okay so exactly what i suspected okay who's gonna win firefall i won it well, yeah buddy oh jesus that's what i'm talking about look nobody used 
uses stuff like this, to be honest, because Starfall's cooldown's too long, and uh, th that's something they should always be thinking about. It also pulls random stuff, and it can make your group really hate you in M+, so this is still something I might try, though. I have plenty of extracts from all the extra procedures, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it on something, extract it right now, and consider nailing Firefall a win. So I'm not gonna lie, I got harassed so much while doing my leveling BGs, uh, which is what I did, by the way, mostly to get to max, and I got harassed, but it was because I was playing Dark Ranger. It's getting a really bad reputation on Ascension. The thing is, while leveling, it's really overpowered. Uh, things definitely beat it. I saw a really badass guy with Metamorphosis do big damage. I talked about it in my Dark Apotheosis video, how you don't take a lot of damage if you play it right, and he was doing big damage, which I wasn't doing, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I saw some actual old school rendo p builds in there that were just slaughtering these dark rangers as well because the big counter to a leveling dark ranger that doesn't have all the you know utility in the world is just get on top of them you have a dead zone as a dark ranger and yeah it can actually hurt but it is a pretty nutso class especially below level like 30 right like below level 30 there's nothing that compares i could just go on a tear and i could show you right now i did uh like i'm talking like maybe 18 kills and two deaths like just just destroying everybody literally no mercy and i don't care you know what i mean like i didn't didn't play this because it was broken. Maybe you copied me and you're playing it because it's broken. I played it day one, bro. Okay, like day three or four, but basically, like, nobody really knew. So personally, I don't care, you know? But I just thought it was very interesting. Like, you might get some shit if you play Dark Ranger right now, guys. Lots of you are playing Dark Ranger and that's why. It is definitely flavor of the month, quite literally, of February. It is the most interesting build they've actually come out with in a while, both thematically, but also it actually has strength to it and it has a solid rotation that's interesting, dynamic, and apparently according to this video, can be played in two different ways. Black Arrow build or Devouring, and they basically have the same DPS. I think the same DPS part is the nutty part, isn't it? I've also been told that you can play this with full spell power, and it's basically the same DPS as well. So they've done something right with the balance of this class. I don't think it's overpowered. I do think it's overpowered while leveling, and they should tune those numbers. Personally, I don't even think that. I know I just kind of contradicted myself, but the truth is, I think they should actually buff a bunch of other stuff while leveling. So like, you know, maybe a fireball clap somebody, right? I think that would be more fun. Things just don't do as much damage sometimes for no reason in PvP, and other things do crazy damage for no reason, we all know. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and do a plus four. I've got an M plus, so we could test the M plus with the black arrow build. I think that could be fun, so I'll see you guys in the dungeon. All right, guys, let's do it. Can we three chest it? That'd be real nice. Dire Mall North is the easiest one. Dire Mall East is pretty easy as well. Dire Mall West, oh man, it's the longest one, you know? It has these type of pools on it. Nobody likes these type of pools. We could test out the Shadow Flame, though, so like right there, and just immediately start pumping. Go for that Shadow Bolt so we can start getting those stacks. I'll actually take second place right now. Of course, the Dragon Warrior just like dominated with Bloodbath too. Very interesting. Wait, are you Dragon Warrior? Yo, this guy's Titanic Mutilate. This guy actually has swag. Yo, that is awesome. Sword spec too. What a freaking G. Dude, I keep doing my Hunter's Mark keybind. Okay, we're on Magister Calendris. And uh, should be a pretty easy fight. Shadow arrow into the shadow bolt. Let's just go commentary over this, right? Going for the dark artillery. And uh, I kind of want a shadow flame because I don't have the explosive shot. Part of me's like, yeah, that actually could work. Okay, we actually do have to get up that black arrow. Disengage into the shadow flame law. Uh, <laughs> just gotta be fancy and see. But that's probably DPS laws too. But we don't care. We're going forward anyway to the shadow arrow bloodshot. Okay. And then we can go for the shadow bolt. Wraith renew. Bloodshot. Black arrow. All right. Oh, he's dead. What the hell? Okay, second place. We're going to be second place behind this guy the entire time, I think. Okay, now we've got Susie, which is a really clever way of writing that name. In for the Wraith. Bloodshot as we get close. A little bit of Shadow Flame right there. Shoot him with an Artillery. Bloodshot once again. I like that, actually. Yeah, you can definitely weave that in. I don't see why not. When you're thinking about, like, a dynamic fight, like, you can actually run in close, still get some shots off. It's fine. There we go. Another Shadow Flame. Just stay a little close, maybe, as well. Hey, I'm actually in first place right now. Am I going to beat this guy? Is the Titanic Mutilator going to get slain by McDoubles on this day? We actually beat him, man. And we're going really fast, guys. I think we're going to three-chest this. All right, massive pull. We Shadow Flamed it, but that's basically all we've got. But it's fair to show it, right? Like, I love to show these when I'm actually playing an AoE spec. What about when I'm not necessarily, right, or it takes some ramp up, so uh, we can go for another AoE right there. Pretty decent procs, actually. 
we're in second, you know? It's not actually that bad. I thought it might be way worse, but when you actually know what you're doing, and I've been playing a lot of Dark Ranger, it comes more natural and you get those stacks faster, right? You Shadow Bolt first and then you start building the stacks with basically everything. It's really easy. Okay, if we do three chest this, is gonna be a close call. We have barely five minutes left. We're about to do two bosses at the same time, then go straight to the last boss. All right, they just did like a crazy pull. It's just not gonna matter. I think everybody in here is like way too powerful to care about that. Power level simply too high to care, dude. We're just gonna go for the Wraith. So it was a bit of a wonky start. Gonna get destroyed on that because there was so much cleave. All right, we're going to the last boss with uh, three and a half minutes left. Actually, it's looking like we might make it. Disengage backwards real quick. All right, let's do it. Prince Tortheldron. I always do the arcane power in the wrong order, man. Shadow arrow into a Wraith right here. Bloodshot. Wow, this guy just crapped on me single target. But GG though, I mean, I'll definitely take second place and this guy's playing the same spec as me and we beat him by a lot the entire time. Now, to be fair, I'm looking at his gear right now and he is probably i would say he's like 66 item level so when you account for item level he's doing pretty damn good but lucky for us we did three chests that do we get anything it's not impossible i'll go agi every time if it's not a tier piece it's actually possible that i put it on right okay no no okay no but i can turn them all in i can recycle them look how nice that looks it's bugged up here like it doesn't show that i have the eight set and then i hover and it's like oh it's so freaking beautiful where is it look at that man it's gorgeous to see that full set bonus ascension please fix it up here on the character panel but anyway, yeah, GG, guys. That was awesome. Three chested it. Easy mode. Okay, guys, I found something else to do. What about some heroic Onyxia? All right, guys, Onyxia. And if we have a spear, we throw it and we automatically come in first place DPS or at least top three. Okay. I don't have the arcade power for this, which is so freaking bad. It's going to happen in three seconds. Do I have to snapshot stuff? I actually don't know. Let's just go for it. Let's actually just go for the shadow flame because I kind of like that. Into the bloodshot. All right, let's go for the shadow arrow into another uh, well, actual shadow arrow. Okay, we can actually switch to the whelps pretty nice nicely with the shadow flame so i do like that it does kind of act like an explosive shot that's a little less reliable which is interesting because at least i've got it it's better than not having either of them right oh no i think i went the wrong way i think i went the wrong way I disengaged towards the deep breath, I think. Yep, I literally could have died, but it's super slow. Oh, I'm not DPSing and the other rangers are on them. No! Black arrow. Okay, we all just wiped to something that we shouldn't have wiped to. Blast Nova, dude. Okay, we'll get it the second try. Dude, I always feel so much pressure when people do this. I didn't even die to the breath and I still have anxiety now because they did that. Like, when I see all caps in chat, I envision a big burly man with a deep voice screaming at me. And he's not fucking around, you know? So I, I use caps very sparingly. All right, let's go in. Black Arrow Arcane Power before that obviously did it right this time, because why not? Why not get it right? Sounds good to me. Shadow Bolt. Now, the main way to keep out of the fire, here's a little trick for you guys, is to simply never, ever leave the sight of the other DPS. Because that way, if you die, they die too, obviously, right? And of course, the only exception would be if something was targeting me. And by doing that, it's never just your fault. Can I get that Shadow Arrow off? No, but I got the Bloodshot off. All right, Shadow Flame on the Whelps right there. I can't see Onyxia and see where the mechanics are at the same time. Please, God, help me. Okay, I can now, kind of. Massive Fireball. I'm just afraid I'm going to, like, Fireball my team because I'm not looking. Because I actually want to see the fight really badly. Because I enjoy that kind of stuff, you know? I want to see the dragon that I'm killing. Come on, I've got this. I'm actually sticking on him properly this time. All right, shadow arrow into another shadow arrow. We dodge the deep breath. We're not getting kicked from our own rage group. That's good. But that would be your leader, my friends. No, I've gotten so much better as the years have gone on. I do remember literally recording for this, right? And uh, not knowing what any of her mechanics were. Constantly putting myself dying to the breath in the videos and just making it funny or something, right? Because that's what was going down. So we did that properly too. We didn't kill anybody on our team disengaged right back please don't let me die here i don't like to die when i do things correctly that bothers me on so many levels man okay i think we've got this dude we could do the black arrow right there into the wraith shadow bolt into a bloodshot all right into one of these i keep calling them one of these and that's because if i'm honest with you the uh animation the icon rather for shadow artillery is just bad and so it doesn't look like shadow artillery to me like when i look at it that's not what i think of so it throws me off completely dude all right i have dragon killer Take the spear! Take it! Can I get first place DPS now? I was already second, by the way. I basically guaranteed second. But I think the spear is about to help me big time. It does so much damage, man. I don't hate it. I disengage this way. You see how smooth that was? You see how smooth that was? That's what I'm talking about. I master things that don't matter. I, I just, for some reason, like being actually good at the game doesn't appeal to me. Second place, yo, get owned. I did beat my own build. And I was in second place before I got the dragon killer. Also, if you subtract 200,000 dragon killer damage, it's still more than everybody 
except for this guy. So if you wanted to, you could say I should have come in third and I would take that and I would take that gracefully. So two Neltharian badges. I already have one, so I don't need to take that. Heroic helmet. I think I have a normal, so I will actually go for that. Damn it, we didn't get anything, dude. A Deathbringer? That's actually one of the worst things, man. I'm, I, well, maybe not. Maybe we'll use 1H weapons. I'll take that. Oh, we get two caches, dude. Dragon Stalker helm. Okay. And I unlock a tier two helm vendor. Yes, let's go buy it, dude. Let's go buy it. That is so lucky. I'm actually going to keep the Dragon Stalker helmet, but that is lucky. That means we can actually go buy the helmet we didn't win, man. That worked perfectly. Okay, so exactly what I said, right? We can go back to the city, go to the tier set vendor, go to tier two, go to tier two tokens, and we should have a heroic helmet. I need 300 G. Shit. Okay, we'll get it in the next video. It doesn't matter. I don't have that on me right this second. Anyway, guys, I think this is going to be the end, and the Shadow Hunter, the Shadow Dark Ranger guy is so fun. Such a good build. You do get some flack for it. You're going to have a lot of fun, though, if you play it. I highly suggest you give it a try before they nerf the low levels. I know they're going to nerf it. I don't know, no, but I know. You know what I mean? It's just broken. It's really, really broken at low levels. Now, real quick, before I end this video, uh, my officers are looking for some more people to help with raid leading. Like, if you want to be a, uh, like, a healing expert or the tank expert or whatever, you want to give some raid guidance for the Mythic and Ascended raids that they want to do, uh, message Pigeon in-game or any of their ults. I also put it in the guild message of the day, so check that out. Well, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video. I'm not going to do a giveaway in this video. I need to give myself a breather to save some items and gold, because as you guys can see, I can't even afford tier two. I've given away so much gold and items. I do still have some vanity stuff I can give away, though. I've got some free flight points, the dealer's draft deck, two transmogs, elemental lodestone, and whoever wins today is going to get all of that, and I'll save some of this other stuff for... Forget it. Let's just do a giveaway in this video, too. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and say, leave a comment in this video with your in-game name if you want a chance of winning something in my next video, but let's go ahead and do the giveaway from the last one. All right, guys, picking a winner. There you go. That's all you got to do sometimes. Love you, Dad, from Parker Smith, in-game name Natty P. GG, bro. Well, you've already seen exactly what you're winning, so let's go ahead and send it to you. It looks like you get some six-slot Kodo hide bags from Hala. It's a meme, I guess. GG, bro. You get that as well. I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give you Nashul's uh, Orgrimmar and Stormwind Stone of Retreat. Giving is fun. I'd like to be the Mr. Beast of Ascension, you know what I mean? All right, dude, Natty P, GG, there you go. And yeah, guys, this was a great video. I really enjoyed it personally, at least for me. And uh, you know what? We are going to be moving on to some other more interesting builds, perhaps to you. Maybe this is the most interesting. But for me, we're going to be doing some different stuff. It should be a lot of fun. I want to quickly give a major thanks to all the members on the channel. I appreciate your existence, guys. You really help a lot. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. I'll see you in the next one. McDouble's out.